from wearing a sleeveless dress to wearing a hoodie. Welcome to Canada. Hi guys, my name is Eleni. Welcome to me and welcome to Let's Not Talk Politics, where we talk about anything and everything not politics. So if you like, you can subscribe, turn on notifications, use your big beautiful brain, so leave me a comment. Exploding zombie caterpillars. First of all, zombies are gross. Secondly, zombies scare me. Thirdly, caterpillars are kind of gross. I like butterflies, not caterpillars. I understand caterpillars turn into butterflies. I do get that, but it's a thing. We all have things. I may have more things than other people, but I don't like caterpillars. So then, zombie caterpillars, hi. Get the hell away from me. What kind of nightmare did you come out of? And now they're exploding, which is how the zombie apocalypse is going to happen, you guys. I read about this several times, but I don't think right now that I'm not feeling very well and I'm kind of fighting off something that my brain is functioning the way it should. It attacks certain type of caterpillars that are known to Europe, specifically the British Isles. And so scientists studying butterflies in the area found several um, caterpillars hanging really high up from trees. Um, and it looks like their skin had been torn apart. So literally they exploded. So whatever this bacular virus, I believe it's pronounced, is... It can survive on leaves with the caterpillars eat and then it causes the caterpillars to keep climbing, climbing, climbing towards the sun, more food, more food, more food till it explodes out of the host, infecting more leaves, going on and on and on. So they're like, yeah, it affects certain types of invertebrates. Yeah, okay. It infects certain types of invertebrates now. It will evolve. It always evolves. Do you guys not watch movies about anything? It doesn't matter what it is. There's this thing that doesn't affect humans, but oh, it's evolved and now it affects humans. Because always, forever, life. So I'm not that super sensitive about grossness, but it's just, it's this particular kind of grossness that I cannot deal with, which brings me to something important that we need to discuss. Very briefly, maybe I'll make a video, a whole video about it later. But first of all, when the zombie apocalypse happens, uh, I'm probably going to die first. Is what it is. I just don't know that I could survive through it unless I somehow barricade um, myself and my family, obviously, um, into the apartment and we can't and we don't leave and we're able to survive. I don't know. Pretty sure I'll die first. Secondly. If the apocalypse happens, and I mean the breakdown of government, not four horsemen, because if end of days is coming, we're all dying, hug your loved ones, hopefully we'll go quickly, and it kind of, you know, it is what it is, you guys. We don't have, like, Constantine and Supernatural and all of that. Maybe we do. Maybe they're out there and I haven't discovered them yet, but... You know, maybe we'll avoid the end of days. But if it comes, we're all going to die. You know, better you make peace with that is what I'm saying. But I'm talking about the breakdown of government. Okay, so zombie apocalypse, death. End of days, death. Breakdown of government style apocalypse where it's like everybody for themselves. So like my friend and her husband were like, well, you know, we live in an apartment. Maybe if we lived in a house, we could blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, listen, look, houses are expensive. None of us have cabins in the woods because we're not axe murderers. So the plan is this breakdown of government happened. My friend and her hubby do not have a car. Okay. But me, my parents, and my sister, we have two cars. So we're going to grab them, his parents, his parents and her sister. They have, I think, two cars, right? So already we have four cars more than enough cars right so then we hit the road because as everybody knows in order to survive until the government gets placed back put back into place and the army takes over and then things get back into order where we can order starbucks again the best way to survive is never on your own it's better in large groups of people and you know i've always kind of fancied myself a cult leader anyway so this is why i think it'll work and then We'll find a meeting place for our other friend who is in um, our capital city because it's the breakdown of government. They can't stay in their capital city. And her and her husband 
don't have a car right now, but her parents have a car. So now we have five cars, more than enough for everybody, more than enough room. We're going to go into the woods, get rid of the axe murderer with a very large fancy cabin, and wait it out. So, plans. Genius plans, and that's, that's how it's all going to go down. So guys, I hope you're all well. I am going to put out another video tomorrow. I just need to spend the next couple of days on my days off, chilling, uh, relaxing, getting over whatever this is that has caused me to feel grossness. So lots of sleep, lots of good food, possibly beer. So let me know, where will you be when the apocalypse happens? And aren't zombie caterpillars the scariest things? Please take care of yourselves so you can take care of each other, and I will see you very soon.